Summer math program for girls. It was a huge hit. Now she's having to add even more dates and more teachers. Her name is Jessica Christensen and she joins us this morning to talk about how girls rock math. Great name for a camp. Thank Welcome. you. Thanks for being here. So it's so popular that you've had to expand your program. Tell us about your program. So Girls Rock Math is an arts-based math camp. Um, we run programs throughout the summer all throughout the city of Seattle and Bellevue. Um, we do uh, hands-on, active learning. All the camps are based on a really creative theme that gets the girls really excited about what they're doing. Um, and it's games, and it's fun, and it's songs, and it's awesome. Math is fun. You know, yeah. It used to be. It used to be that it seemed like math was for boys, and that's so passe now, isn't it? <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely, except that the research still shows that girls as okay. young as second grade no, not that they're behind. They do just as well as boys. But in their minds. In their minds. UW yeah. researchers found that second well. graders already think that math is for boys Why? and reading is for girls. It's implicit. It's stuff that's passed down Interesting. from yeah. teachers and parents. So we need to more, change that. Yeah, more and more companies like Microsoft opening up Girls Who Code and mm -hmm. giving Girls a Path, which is mm -hmm. so cool. My daughter's in kindergarten. She's already catching up to me in math. That's awesome. <laughs> I don't know if that says more about her or me, but um, what was the response when you first opened this math camp? I was really surprised. I, I was a teacher, and I had never really launched anything like this mm -hmm. before. I was just crossing my fingers and hoping people would sign up, and it was huge. The first summer, we were in West Seattle, and we had a wait list. Mm -hmm. And I thought, oh, this might be something that people are interested in. And of course, it was sort of right at the start of this realization that girls, there's this huge STEM gap um, in women in engineering and computer science. So um, we have been moving forward ever since. Do you get any pushback at all from, from uh, families that wish it wasn't just single gender, that uh, they want their sons in it too? Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> like her brother really wants to go, and if a boy wants to go, they can, they can we could figure it out. Um, that's not a problem, but it hasn't happened yet. So, <laughs> so how do uh, girls get involved? A lot of parents thinking about summer camp right now. Right now, yes. Yeah. So we actually, because we expanded, we do have openings in Finney Ridge and U District and a few spatterings here and there. Um, we, you can go to the website, girlsrockmathematics.com, um, and we have uh, registration available. Great, still open slots. So. A few, very few. It's unusual well, we, this time. We filled our university district site within an hour wow. of opening registration. So we had to we had booked another space and then got Finney Ridge, and we're really trying to meet the need. That's, yeah, that's fantastic. fantastic. Thank you, Jessica, for coming in. Tell Thank us about it. Thank you so it. much. Girls rock math. Yes. Line up.